Evaluate each integral below by interpreting it in terms of areas bounded by the integrand function. All right, as I look at this first integral, I'm going to go from 2 to 7, and the integrand is 5 minus x. So I'm going to draw a picture of that. And we know that the 5 minus x, it's linear then. y-intercept of 5 and then down one over one on the slope, which means if we continued that, we would also have an x-intercept of five. So there's our line. And now we're also interested in this from two to seven. So here is five, there's seven, here's two. So we're supposed to interpret it in terms of area. So we're gonna start at two here and go to seven. We see that we have two triangles, one above the x-axis and one below the x-axis. So we know when we do an integral, if we're using area, that it's net area. So the area in the triangle above the x-axis would be, looks like it has a base of three and a height also three, we could put two in the function there and see that that's three. And so this area is one half the base times the height. So that would be nine halves. And then this triangle, the base is two, its height is two also, but we're gonna put a negative on it because remember we use for the function value, we use a negative below the x-axis there. And so if we computed that, we would have one half times two times negative two. I'll leave it in terms of halves so we can combine them. So it subtracts off because it's below the x-axis. So we get five halves. Remember that is net area. Now, if we look at the second integral, it wants the absolute value of five minus x. So absolute value, anytime the function value would have been negative, putting that absolute value on it would make it positive. So this piece that's down here would end up going up this direction. So now when I look at the triangles, this other triangle is now above the x-axis. So this one will be one half the base times the height, or four halves. So when I go to evaluate this integral, I'm going to have nine halves plus, because I'm above the four halves, so we get 13 halves. Now, this one is the net area, and the second integral actually computed the total area of the first one because we did that absolute value. So instead of subtracting off that second triangle, we added it.